So today we're doing fillers to the under eyes to correct the tear trough deformity. And uh, my approach to this uh, treatment is to do it in stages. First, we have to build the base. In this case, it would be the cheek area. And eventually we have to correct the actual sunken eyelids. Um, it's important to do it in that stage. I think a lot of uh, patients get treated just with uh, HA fillers under the eyelid area, but there's no support. And those uh, patients either uh, end up requiring too much HA fillers, which will cause uh, eyelid swelling eventually, or they basically get undercorrected. Um, in this particular patient, we have already treated the right side. And as you can see, I basically build her cheek area and also we used Bellotero for the lower lid area and you compare it to the other side we already built the cheek in this area and this is what I want to show so one of the most important things to do this treatment is to know where that orbital rim is located I marked it here in this particular patient so that means that everything that is under that orbital rim it actually has to fill with uh, a filler that it will create support. In my particular uh, experience, I prefer to use uh, radius in that area. It's a very delicate area. There's some vessels here that has to be avoided. Therefore, we come in through a side uh, injection point and fill in that area. And that is all based on knowledge of the anatomy in particular, when I do surgery for patients like her, which she would be a good candidate, but she um, did not have the downtime uh, for the surgery. Therefore, we're doing a correction, which is going to help her a lot with just uh, fillers. But we're using the same concepts that I use for eyelid surgery. It's how we can correct the under eye deformity or tear trough deformity in the correct manner.